Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Miracle, and today I'm playing some Ele Noir. And, uh. Nope, not the map. Not the map. Please. Thank you. Alright. Let's go here and talk to. Co oh, corner's down. Yeah, I want to talk to the corner. Is there fall damage? <laughs> no, he's too much of a, a, a vagina. Jesus. Come on. Put some muscle in that step. There you go. Hey. Gotta cut them corners, man. There you go. There you go. And up the slippery slope we go. Up here we go, guys. Like, yeah. Are you ready? Are you like totes ready for this shiz? Cause I'm about to drop a truth bomb on y'all booties. All right, making my way up town. But what's my opinion against thousands of others? Oh, I guess this would uh do it, huh? Do 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 do. Do 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 Let's see here. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Hmm. Alrighty. Some panties. Yes, please. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. Ooh. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Okay. Done. Where did you use? Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home if you're worried about your father. Don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very proud, but you... She's a long uh -huh. way from home. But you, but you are still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I'm going to be just like... Clara bow 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 and when lovely and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men but once I grew up and married your father I realized I would never have been happy in that life you'll realize it one day too I'm sure Aunt Junie is looking after you but I can't help worrying you know what your old mother's like the world is a very dangerous place for young girls especially one with with stars in their eyes Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's to what is right in front of your nose. There we go. And Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as a button, just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look out for them. Uh, dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, something, something, something. Gotcha. Boop. Let me talk. Driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. 
That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Hmm. Interesting. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Okay, I should call about the license plate, maybe. How about you? Uh, I don't really know too much, detective. Maybe ask the coroner. Oi. Nothing in the bushes. <sighs> I think I've seen it all. Okay. You have nothing left. Oh, wait. What about the other side of the car? What about the other side of the car, Cole? Hmm. Same me. One of these days, man. One of these days. Uh, something will happen with that, hopefully. Turn, thank you. Jesus. You want to you take your turn a little sharper there, buddy? You're scaring me. Alright. Alright, so it happened here. Um... Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few sure. questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Who drugged you, Mrs. McAfee? Mm -hmm. You really are a cute detective. But a little too naive for my taste. Oh. Oof. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. Oh, I'm doing found so a bad. Shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Miss McGowan, you're lying. Wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. Um. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? Uh. 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 I don't even remember what I said. Don't ask, you never find out. Dick. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? You mentioned a Mark awesome. Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? 
He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. It's not going to play that way, Mrs. McCaffrey. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. Mrs. McCaffrey. Oh my God! I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. And so be it. See what we can shake out of the kid. Dun 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 so, uh, going for a straw. How's everyone doing? Oh, thank God. Everyone doing alright? Yeah? Good, good. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just running down a flight of stairs. So, what's over here? Something right there? Something right there? Nope, nothing's right there. Alright. Ugh. <sighs> Get out of my way, sister. <laughs> Spider Man, Spooder Man, Split Us Blue Light, Split Up Man. Nailed it. Central Receiving Hospital, A28. Hello. Yo, what's up, girl? Here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh yeah, she's in the room right behind you, detective. Right, thank you, you kind hold. lady. No, I don't. Feeling need better since this morning, Jessica. I need my A little. Hey, my head still feels funny. You know who I am. Your face Hello, still looks Jessica. funny. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Okay. Can crash you tell me what you remember report. about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. It's a lie. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Um. I'm tired, detective, Chevy's and this has been all so awful. Please, please, just leave me alone. <sighs> Underwear. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Doubt that. Jessica, if you don't want me to call your father, you better tell me what happened. Please, please don't call Daddy. Why are you being so horrible to me? Can't you see what I've been through? Don't you play that with me, woman. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some Ooh. lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. I know what happened. <sighs> Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. Um. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible to me. <laughs> you should think about going home, Jessica. 
You're gonna mix up with people who will treat you like last week's trash. Are you crazy? I can't go home. I want to be a star. I am a failure. I failed Failed so hard. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Oh, God, I'm... Why am I so bad at this? There she goes. Come on. Thanks, like, seriously. Oh. Ballard is definitely up to something. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Yeah, for sure. Day turn. Day turn. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Not forgetting how to drive, jerk face. Excuse me. Get in there and see what she's up to. What? Ooh. Alrighty. Wasn't supposed to do that, huh? Get in there gotcha. and see what she's up to. Screw doors. Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I caught the film. Bishop's part. All right. Where to? I like how uh, I think of exactly um, what I should have done after. So what's the story? I'm guessing over. she didn't stop for like a question. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble here. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. He's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So yeah, Ballard I'm was doing someone a favor. Him, Why did they try to kill her? 
All units in the vicinity okay. of car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. KGPL clear. Roger, KGPL. 11K en route. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel. 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K code 3. All other units code 2. KGPL clear. We doing this? We doing this, baby? We doing this? How are you doing this? Doing this? Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, baby. Bishop's apartment, 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm Detective Bell. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Thank you. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Oh yeah, riding that elevator. Come on, thank you. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. Mrs. Bishop? Gloria Bishop, please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. <sighs> Thank you, officer. Okay. So, maybe this guy actually did something. What's this? Doesn't appear to be connected. Um. What if, and hear me out, they're trying to frame him hard in the paint? Ooh. Wedding ring. Not sure this means much. Okay. How about you? Not much help. Okay. Just one last thing on this table that has to mean something. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Nope. Alright, fine. Be that way. Just trying to be thorough here. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Um, it's called anal. What are you, anything. pretty pink thing? Okay. New Testament. Maybe. No. Presented to Mark. Money, it's the money. Nothing significant. What about you? Are you cigars? Seems irrelevant. Okay. Nope. What is Looks like the old movie set downtown. Okay. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. <laughs> nice. 
we got? What's still here? Alcohol. Circumstantial. So is your mother. This will be. No good to me. And the book. Or not the book. Not the book. I'm coming. More, uh, more salad thingies. Let me, uh, let me toss your salad there, baby. Is that it? That's it. Nope. Come on, turn. There you go. Nothing. Oh. Time to tell the time. This doesn't pertain to the case. No, it doesn't, but it looks nice. Gonna have to take it in for some, uh, further, uh, Identification. Incidental. Oh my god. And this is like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopwood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopwood's job. New location. And that seems to be it. So let's talk to this woman. Ideas? Now all we need to know is who were those goons and why were they tearing up the floorboards? Ask Mrs. Bishop. I'm on it. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Truth. Your husband was using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him. Or yeah, I feel like that's the truth, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if you were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Yay, Why is your husband for paying Lorna Hopgood twenty thousand dollars? Lorna, Marlon's ex-wife. Are you sure? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood? and not McAfee. Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband hey, hey, did some good. It could go easier us. for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Let me, uh, let me just use your telephone Operator, real quick. message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Belt's bed, 1247. How can I help, do detective? Do 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 do. I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Thank you. What happens if I use it again? I can't. Okay, so I can only use the telephone when I actually need to. Alrighty. Peace.
step into my office. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. They're finally rubbing shoulders with all the ones who are famous. From the stories they've given us, clearly none of them have been acting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look a little bit. Oh, nothing further down there. A crime has been committed. Don't just stand there. Excuse me, you don't know how hard my job is. Like, it is so, so hard. People lie to you, man. People lie. Can you believe that? Like, people will lie to you. Like, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You're behind the wheel. Right. So where do you want to go? go? There. Set is dissolution. I'm gonna pause it here and I'm gonna say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time on whatever episode I make. Stay cute, salesman. Stay fluffy, kittens.